This land of summer, mists, and forests, dreaming darkly. I see secrets, and I want to know England. All of it. And yet it rounds on us at every turn, snarling like a cornered dog. I begin to despair Perhaps of ever settling here. the stars here. write your path, and you will never have a home here. Do you miss the land of your birth? I have long been away. But it is fiercely beautiful beneath the vanity, arrogance, and pettiness of men. I should like to see it. You could if you wish. My father was an architect, a builder of wonders. The great mosque of Samara, his masterpiece. Another man, who played the Caliphate's game better, took the credit. He was exiled, and died in poverty. Your faith sours. Your faith sours. What of loyalty? Shared stories round the hearth. Warm nights, bodies, and the tender love of another. <laughs> there are some who are worthy. A scant few that tower above the sullied mass. Men and women of vision and valor. Sigurd is one such man. He is. Fulke isn't wrong on that score. I fear for him, Basim. I cannot rest Nor until he's safe. Nor will I. My friend. The practice of learning has waned considerably in England since the days of the Romans. What books they still have, they keep locked away in their churches, hidden from the eyes of common folk. Thralls and Gerald cannot read. What would be the point? They could learn. The church could teach them. So much of human history would be open to them. Aristotle, Pythagoras, Euclid, ancient knowledge lost to all but a few hard-headed men of the cloth. You have studied these works yourself? In my youth, I was consumed with a passion for understanding. I spent many hours a day in the House of Wisdom in Baghdad. A seminary? A great library, full of the greatest learning of mankind. For a boy seeking answers, it holds many riches. One day, I was sitting cross-legged, devouring a study by the great astronomer al Khwarizmi. With the swiftness belying his years, the papers were plucked from my grasp by the great man himself. Now! Get the murdering heathen! Belying his years, the papers were plucked from my grasp by the great man himself. His presence stole my voice. He was kind and open-hearted. He showed me such scientific wonders. And what did you learn there? Calendars and calculations placing the sun, moon, and five planets. Equations that crackled and sparkled with divine intelligence. I asked the great man, is this what it is to know God? You saw your God's hand in the runes. I found wisdom, and I have been searching for more ever since. There is great vastness outside ourselves, Eivor. Most only notice a few grains of sand. Should we see that? But some, oh, like yes. Sigurd, I believe, see the endless flow of the hourglass. What you see in Sigurd, is this what Fulke sees as well? This place swarms with Fulke's people. Sigurd will be well guarded. Portion and subtlety should be our path. Ready? Follow me. I should be cautious around here. This is a trap. Why would Fulke give us her sanctum? She baits us. Cocksure and arrogant. But she cannot see failure in her path. Her fearful wit would say otherwise.
You chastise me like a child, Basim. Nothing is served with your brutal end. You have much to do in this life. I know it. More riddles, Sly Tom. No riddles. I sense a greatness within you both. Your destiny is not to stain the stones of this godhouse with your blood. If she's still here, I will burn this Christ house to the ground. This must be the way to Fulke's Sanctum. Help me, Basim. Sigurd is within. The plans to the great fortress in Wessex. Is there something here we can use to breach it? The Gospel of Mary Magdalene. By Odin. 
This is a sick tapestry she wove. For every drop of his blood she spilled, I will take a meat horn more. Details on the Order of the Ancients. Fulke ranks high among them, but is not their head. What does it mean, these word tangles that speak of elves and demons? Tell me that you found something. Anything we can use! I may have! A fortress in Sussex. The Order trained soldiers there. We must be sure. Secret is running out of time. Anything else? Documents of interest to the Hidden Ones. Hytham will surely want to look. But for Sigurd, Porchester is our only lead. <sighs> if he is in Porchester Castle, we'll need a massive army to crack its walls. I have many friends in England now. If I call on them, they will come. They will. Basim, she severed his arm clean off. Can a man survive such a loss? Physically, he can. Mentally, it's hard to say. So much stress can drive a man to despair. If you suggest he might take his own life as Tebman did, banish that idea. I must tell my people at the settlement that their Jarl remains a captive. They will not take it well. We will not fail again, Eivor. I'll scout ahead and send word to the settlement when I know more of Porchester. Be ready. Where is he? Where is Sigurd? He... he is alive. But not with you. Where is he? Dag, not now. I need to speak with Ranvi. You never found him, did you? Tell us, Eivor! We deserve the truth! I need to speak with Ranvi. Step aside, now! You never found him, because you didn't look! <clears throat> I see you, Eivor! I know what you are. Eivor, you come alone. I fear what that means for Sigurd. I... I could not find him. That madwoman Fulke, she... She slipped away, took him to Sussex. We need an army. Call on our alliances. Remind them of their oath to me. 
We must act before... Before... Before what, Eivor? She tortured him, Radri. Did unspeakable things. Severed his arm and left it as a gift. I fear she means to kill him. Slowly. Gods. Stop there, Wolf Kissed. This ends now. Dag, turn around and walk away. Your habits are not my own, Eivor. I do not flee responsibility for the sake of my glory. I stand firm with my people. For many months, I have stood at your side, keeping faith in Sigurd's judgment. Because I believed in him and his vision. Do as Eivor commands, he told me. And I have. Against my better judgment, I did as you have asked me. And where has that left us? Without a Jarl? Without a purpose? Watching you chase glory around this land like a spooked hare! You could have come to me in confidence, Dag, but that offer is gone. I have no need of it! My mind is fixed! Hear me all! I challenge Eivor for the leadership of this clan until Sigurd is safe home! Walk away, Dag. No! We fight to the death! I accept. We settle this now. Ah! A final act of courage! Very well. Let the circle be made! I'll burn you like a suckling pig! Please! Please! Both of you! Walk a fool's path, Dag. This does not need to happen. A coward to the last. Have courage, Eivor. We'll make it quick. Is that the best you can do? Not need to happen. A coward to the last. Have courage, Eivor. I will make it quick. What's the matter, Eivor? Are you scared? Only for what I must do. But do you not see what you do? There's no honor in this. What do you know of honor that Sigurd did not teach you? You suckle at his feet, and then leave him to die! You should have 
listened. You must have saved yourself. I would grant you exile. Leave this place, but go with your life. Spare me your pity and fight! So be it. You leave me no choice. Gotten you. Silence! If I had any pity, I would not lavish it on this poor fool. He forced my hand. Yes, and the cost of disrespect is death. You said it yourself. All he demanded, you gave him. That should be enough. I have no need for one so fragile in my hall of heroes. He fought for what he believed in. Does that not count for something? Does it? You killed him all the same. What is the true cost of disrespect? The choice lies with you. You should not have come to this, old friend. Take this, and fly to Odin's Hall. Whatever you sought in this life, you'll find it in the next. <clears throat> no. Go to your homes. I will lay him to rest. Go to your homes! Dag accused me of betrayal. He accused me of breaking my oath. And this, this is the answer I gave him. Now you will hear the truth unmanaged. None, none more than me wishes for Sigurd's safe return. You know this. You know this. All of you. And I will burn the fields. Dredge the rivers of Wessex to find him. That! That is my oath! That is my oath. I will find Sigurd. You will not be without your Jarl. I promise. as you died, proud and defiant. I cannot begrudge you for that. I miss hearing you tell your stories, old friend. But I remember them well.
You think on you often, Nag. 